Hello, I'm having a crisis, so I'm here to dye my hair because that's what I used to do on YouTube and I haven't done it in so long and also I just need a change. Before anybody asks, everything is fine with Jerry, it has nothing to do with him, I'm just going through a hard time and last week I already gave myself a full fringe, which is um, hidden most of the time because I am too lazy to style it, but today I'm going to be dyeing my hair. Um, I have been trying to grow out my natural auburn colour for about six months, I think, um, and it's not really working. The brown dye that's still in my hair is like clinging. I have been trying to strip it out at least like once a month and it's just not working. So I'm taking the plunge and I'm just going to dye it ginger. <laughs> now when I say I'm auburn, I am more on the red tone of auburn. The dye I'm using is more on the orange side, um, but I wanted to go like lighter for summer and it was either this or light brown and I figured I'd get bored of light brown and it would also be kind of hard to do since there's already brown in my hair. Um, and I wanted to do something that was lighter that would actually lift rather than just like putting on a light box dye onto my dark hair and it not doing anything. I did buy bleach. Today is Thursday. The bleach is being delivered on Saturday. So if this goes wrong, I can always bleach it um, blonde, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I was initially gonna um, either bleach it and put like highlights in just to lighten what I already have so that my roots would still grow out their natural color. Um, but I can't be bothered waiting until Saturday because Jerry is currently away and he's back on Saturday. I have the BTS concert on Sunday and then I have exams. So this is like literally the only time I can have this mental breakdown and dye my hair. So I'm gonna do it. Um, I'm just gonna put away my nice fancy earrings so I don't get dye on them. Um, the top I'm wearing, funny story about this, I don't watch Game of Thrones, but you may notice this is a Game of Thrones t-shirt. So in January, of last year I had my second freshers and it was like a Game of Thrones theme pub crawl and party at the SU and once the party was done um, there was just a box of t-shirts so me and my friends raided it. Now when we did the pub crawl all my friends wore the black ones. I don't actually, I know like the characters and the houses because I've read the books but I don't know the pictures. The reason why I'm wearing this one is because I own a ton of them because we raided the box. I, I kid you not, I have about like 15 or 20 of these. This isn't all of them. These are just the ones I could find. So we have this one, which is the house that me and my friends wore. We have this white one. And then we have the red one. The red one is my least favorite because I don't really like red. Um, I used to sleep in these, but... Yeah, I, I didn't own pajamas for like the longest time, so I used to just sleep in whatever t-shirt I had that was a little bit baggy. Um, this one is a large. I did steal some smalls and mediums, which is why this one is stupidly big, but um, yeah, I'm dyeing my hair. It doesn't matter what I'm wearing as long as um, it's okay to ruin it. I left my dye top and my dye leggings, because I, I'm a slasher, I get it everywhere, um, <laughs> at home in Wales, so I'm improv -ing. I'm improvising with this. Um, I'm just taking my earrings out because they are Ted Baker and I don't really want to ruin them. I'm also going to have to take off the necklace. I'm not wearing my dolphin because um, I don't have it. I'm wearing this instead because I have this. Um, but I'm going to take it off because I don't want to ruin it. I should probably like shut up and start dyeing my hair now. Um, so I'm using the Clairol. Oh, you guys know I've used a lot of different like box dyes in the past. I'm using Clairol because it was cheap and I could prime it. Um, and it was like the closest ginger color I want. To be fair, this is probably a little too light, but the dark brown, which is kind of close to what I am, um, doesn't lift too light, so it shouldn't be like dreadful. I'm also not gonna be dyeing my roots. I'm gonna be doing it like a, like a grow out kind of thing. Um, so I'm going to leave a little bit of my rootage untouched. Um, I don't have like few day old hair. I don't exactly have recently washed hair. I washed it yesterday, but it feels gross um, because I used a different shampoo to the one I normally use and my head does not like it. 
Ah! This isn't going to be a tutorial because um, I do not condone this kind of behavior. Even though I'm totally condoning this kind of behavior. Um, oh, I left my microphone recorder thingy on from my lecture. Whoops. That's just got everything. Um, yeah, okay, fuck it, let's start. Ah, okay, I have not used a box dye in so long. I think the last time I did a full head of, like, a full head dye was in September when I had a shoot and they wanted to be me to be um, dark brown and I had like ginger grow out and weird leftover other colors of other shades of brown dye in my hair. Um, so also because I've never used this brand, I feel like I have. Well, I have actually used the nice and easy ones before, but I haven't used this specific one. The box was different, so either they've redone the packaging since the last time I used nice and easy, which always comes out of my hair. It says it's permanent, but it's not. Not on me anyway. Um, anyway, it says roots for if you colour every one to three months with a similar shade. Okay, no. If you've never coloured your hair, want to drastically change your current hair colour or have not coloured in longer than three months. Well, it's been about six since I did my roots. Because um, this is dye, but it's old dye. Drastically change your current colour. I feel like this is like a drastic change, right? Okay, cool. We'll do this. Um, I need like hair clips and something to section. I'm actually going to use the... Um, the gloves for once, which I don't usually do. I like to use one glove, one not glove, but um, my hands are really sensitive. Recently. So in the box we have the color cream, the developer or color activator, um, and a conditioner. I'm used to conditioners coming like this because I use L'Oreal all the time. Um, this is just a conditioner ball. Um, L'Oreal was kind of like my go-to for a particular brown shade because it was like closest to my mum's and that's what I used to trick everybody into thinking was my natural hair colour. Nope, I am a ginger. Um, oh, I'm Auburn, I guess, but there we go. Um, I'm gonna brush my hair. <laughs> I'm so frazzled, I've completely forgot how to dye hair. This is awful. Okay. My hair is disgusting because I dried it part way and then left it to dry the rest, which is why the back started to curl because I have naturally curly hair. Um, and it just feels gross. Oh, I hate it, but I could be bothered blow drying it. My arms hurt. Oh, I'm lazy. Okay. I think I'm going to do it in four sections. Everybody always seems to do it in four sections, and I feel like that's probably like a. There's probably a reason for it. Oh, ouch. I literally cannot even get my fingers through my hair. This is ridiculous. I used to use bobbles as well, but as I've got older, I've realized that bobbles are really, really hard to get out when you are wearing gloves and have dye everywhere. So you can see my fringe. It's so small. I did leave my actual fringe, you know, the one that like comes down to like here. I did actually leave most of it. I just wanted to try it. So I cut a really thin layer of full fringe see how it looked and I, I'm too lazy to style it which means I should not cut anymore and that is why we're dying hair instead of not dying hair. Um, if anyone is wondering this is the colour 8WR Golden Auburn, again keyword there being Auburn but I wanted to go more on the orange side than the red side so I went for Golden. I did try and colour match my roots to um, like an actual auburn shade that like is my colour to dye it um, but apparently they don't stock me in L'Oreal um, I haven't checked nice and easy but I don't really trust nice and easy she says like she's not about to dye her hair okay how do I do this I have completely forgotten prep open this use an old towel to protect your clothing and household services S services surfaces I've forgotten how to make a hair dyeing video. I need to put gloves on. <laughs> I also have to get a bobble because I have really thin hands and they're always far too big. So I need a bobble to put around it. Ah! Oh my God, I'm turning into my boyfriend. I need to stop. Then you open the developer. Wait, you have to take the thing off it first, don't you? Ah! I can't get this in there. I don't know why I'm doing this in the bottle because I prefer to use a bowl and uh, like brush thingy. 
can't do this. We haven't even. <gasps> oh my god! Okay, I don't know if you can see this. I literally just squeezed it all onto my leg. I didn't want to dye these shorts. Oh no! Okay. Disaster may be averted. I don't know. Oh, I don't know how to do this. The last time I did like a, a dye job blended up into my roots was a very long time ago. So this will probably not end well. Oh, it's all over the floor. Oh my God. I'm not supposed to redecorate. And this, ladies and gents, is why I have a pair of leggings called dye leggings. <laughs> it's because I get dye everywhere. I wasn't kidding. This has been going on far too long already. 15 minutes and I've not even started. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I am too weak. I'm too disabled. I can't do it. <laughs> oh, okay. That's not in, but it's secure, I guess, ish. Okay, we're going ginger. <laughs> it's okay. You're already ginger. This isn't a big step. Come on. Oh, okay. I guess this is happening. I mean, it did say start with the roots. <laughs> but I'm not dyeing my roots. So, okay. So my actual growth is about there or thereabouts. So I'm just gonna get the other glove. I need the other glove. Oh no. I was hoping I could do it without. Ah. Uh. I hate wearing two gloves. I feel like so out of control of my movements. This also means I need another bobble. Oh, oh. oh I just popped my shoulder twice. Nice. CDS, love that. Okay. Oh. And that's why we have to put clips in properly. Lee. Okay. So I'm just gonna like, I don't know, zhuzh it up a bit. Sure it's nice and saturated. Yeah, I kind of don't mind the whole like dark roots thing. If I do, if it looks ugly, then I'll go back and dye my roots at another time. <sighs> or just live with the ugliness, I don't know. Maybe the latter, I am lazy, I am disabled. Oh God, what am I gonna tell my mum? She's supposed to be ringing me later. Just on FaceTime and, hello, ginger daughter here. How's life? What's Jerry gonna say? <laughs> I hadn't even thought about that. Oh my God. This also means I can't do any castings over the summer if my hair is like this because I don't match my headshots. Ah! Do I just dye it all? dye it all and let my roots grow out. Okay, too late, I've done it. <laughs> ah! Oh my God. Oh my God. Lee, what are you doing? Ah! I'm committed now. I need to go back and, and get my roots under here though. Because it would be very bad if I just left them. 
Also, this is, I'm not a trained like professional. I have no formal training in dyeing hair, but um, if anyone is wondering about the fringe cutting business, I know my way around a pair of scissors because my uh, ex stepmom, who was with my dad for about seven years, um, used to, well, she still is a hairdresser, and I used to cut her hair for her because um, she had like it almost down to her bum, so it was really hard for her to get it like straight all the way around. So I used to help out, um, and I've been trimming my own fringe and my own like, and my hair for a very long time. So yeah, I only trust my hairdresser back home in Wales with my hair, and um, obviously she's in Wales and I'm not. So whenever I want to dye my hair, uh, I want to cut my hair. Um, I have to wait until I go home. So I only get my hair cut about once a year and the rest of the time I trim it myself. Um, on the hair dye situation, I've been dyeing my hair since I was about 12 and I'm 19, almost 20. Yeah, I'm almost 20. Oh God, I need to open a window. Oh, I should not have done that. <clears throat> Just inhale all the chemicals. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm not like a professional, but I'm experienced with fox dyes, bleach. Um, the one time I did go to a hairdresser and get my hair dyed was that terrible time I ended up ginger. Okay, I was supposed to be going blonde and I ended up like a, a an overly warm strawberry blonde, um, which was not what I was going for at all. It wasn't the one who cuts my hair, I had another lady do my hair and uh, that's why I don't have other people touch my hair now. I feel like my hair is going to be too dark for this to do anything. The last time I used a box dye and went like lighter from darker, I mean it went okay but it went ginger. I went from like a brown to a blonde and it went ginger and I know that we're aiming for ginger but I don't, like I've never dyed my hair with a ginger dye before, I don't know how this will work. I spent my entire life pretending I wasn't ginger, only to reach 19 and die in a ginger shade that isn't mine. Who am I? What have I become? <laughs> One quarter done. Having to like crouch down to be able to see my reflection. I've got a mirror here, um, which I don't know if you can see. I've got a mirror at the back as well. I'm, I'm trying to see myself in one or the other. But I don't know how well that's gonna work. I haven't dyed my hair in so long. This feels so weird. Oh my God. I know I have to get it well saturated, but I don't want to oversaturate it to begin with in case I run out of dye. Um, I'd rather not. I'd rather go back and, and do it all again at the end. Um, but you know, we'll, 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 we'll see. <laughs> I don't know why I stuttered. God. Okay. On a scale of 1 to 10, how stupid do you think I am for doing this? Because I'm thinking about a 9 right now, but it's definitely going to be a 10 when my mum sees me. That does not make a good noise. Also, I haven't done like any Vaseline or anything, but I only use it when I'm using like a darker color, like when I'm dyeing my hair like a dark brown, or if I'm using a brighter color, like that one time when I went red, I used Vaseline. I don't remember if I showed it in the video, but um, 
I use Vaseline then to stop staining on my skin, but I just, I don't think it's necessary when I do a lighter color, because even if there is staining, like it's pretty minimal. I'm pretty like clean, even though I get it like everywhere, I don't get it on me, on my skin. Um, I typically just get it on the floor, which is great. Um, because I am living in a rented bungalow. I'm gonna get my sideburns in. Oh, that is a little much. My sideburns aren't that big. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> so I have a condition called EDS, if you didn't know by now. It just makes me really clumsy and my hands just also like mess up sometimes and I drop stuff. So that is why things are getting out of hand, literally. Okay. I feel like that's okay. Okay. It's the lower half done. Also, if anyone is wondering why I didn't do a strand test, I only strand test when it's a new um, like brand that I'm using. Um, I've used Nice and Easy before. I don't know if it's the same like Nice and Easy line, um, since this is like a new and improved formula and it's been ages since I used a box dye. So I probably should have um, done a strand test, but like I only, I only typically do it for new brands. So, well, like, yeah, the first time I use them, I'm like, okay, gotta make sure I'm not allergic, but I don't actually remember the last time I did a strand test because I've used that many different box dyes now, trying to find like the perfect one. I'm kind of a little bit of a box dye veteran, I guess. My ear is starting to burn. Okay, so I accidentally put the wrong memory card in my camera, so now I've switched that over to the, the bigger one. Um, I kind of got it everywhere because I was trying to make sure it was like evenly applied. I had a stupid amount left when I'd done my whole head um, coating everything, so I literally just like tipped it onto my hand, like smushed it around, um, which is why it's kind of gotten everywhere, even though I'm usually pretty clean, but it's messier than what I normally do, um, which is great. Um, so I need to set a timer now. This says, um, starting at the roots, apply color mixture immediately to dry unwashed hair, work th through hair from roots to tips to ensure full saturation, leave color mixture on hair for 25 minutes. So I'm gonna leave it a little bit longer. I'm gonna check it at 25 minutes, but I'm gonna leave it a little bit longer probably because anytime I use a box dye and go from like brown to blonde, I always left it a little bit because I felt like the the 25 minutes, half an hour never really gave me like the, the lift or like the color that I wanted. Um, so I'm gonna check it at 25 and then go from there. I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup because I got some dye on my counter. And like I said, I rent this place, so that's not good. Um, be leaving traces of dye everywhere. It's kind of making it look purple, which is a little cool, I'm gonna admit. But that's just because I'm a hope for purple. Okay. Into the bin you go. I'm gonna rinse this one before I put it in the bin because there's still like a little bit of dye left in it. Yeah, sorry I didn't um, film the whole process. Like I said at the beginning, this is not a tutorial. This is just me having a mental breakdown. Um, and, you know, yeah, it's so strange. I've, or, okay, normally when I use a box dye and I go lighter, by the time I finish, the bottom usually has some color change, but I can't tell because the lighting in here is so crap because it's still like bright enough outside that I don't need the light on, but I put the light on because I felt like it wasn't bright enough in here. Um, but I can't really see any color difference aside from my face and neck. Um, also my ear was burning earlier, which probably means that I should have done a strand test, but I found out that I actually just had like one piece of hair like going across here and then up. 
So it was like, um, just like pinning my ear in and that's why it was hurting rather than it like burning from the dye. Or at least that's what I'm telling myself. I don't know if that's actually true. I guess I'll see you guys in 25 minutes. Um, I'm gonna pop my hip and watch Produce X 101. I, I'm like, I'm super excited for this season, but like, I hate that two members of Victon are in there because I saw Victon in concert last September and they were fantastic. And you guys know the whole story about Ho Chan flirting with me and Sejun flirting with my friend. Um, like legit. Um, so when I saw that Byung-chan and Sungwoo were in PD 101, I was like, uh, no, <laughs> but they're really popular. They're really talented. They're in grade A. They're doing great. Um, at the end of episode four, before the first ranking announcement, I think Sungwoo is 17th and Byung-chan is 10th. The cutoff for the first announcement is 60. So um, they're fine, or at least they should be fine. <sighs> But it's still making me really, really nervous. And it's kind of, it's ruining my enjoyment for the show because I'm like, I want all of these boys. I already have my top six. I want all of these boys. And then I'm like, my Victoria babies are special. They don't belong with, in that like category. I mean, I would love it if they debuted in the group because like, that's the aim of the game, right? But either way, I'm still really proud of them. And they're super talented and I hope that through this show they gain more popularity, people recognize their talents and then um, when they go back to Victon and they start promoting as OT7, um, hopefully they'll just, you know, do better. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just, I love them and I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> I'm not careful. I'm just really fragile. I think this mental breakdown is like becoming such a like big thing because I'm also due for a visit from Amp Flo, which is probably why my joints are playing up so much the last two days. And I spent like most of yesterday crying. Um, but we're blaming it on exam stress. I don't actually know what is causing this mental breakdown. I just keep breaking down and crying. Anyway, I'm gonna go because otherwise this video is gonna be super long. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay, so I still have like nine minutes on the timer, but um, I just wanna like show you how ginger it looks. I can't tell if it looks more ginger at the roots because my roots were already ginger, or if it's just really freaking light. Um, but I didn't expect it to lighten very well, so I'm assuming my roots where it was natural for like the like two, three inches that was um, my natural grow out. I feel like that's gonna be lighter anyway which is kind of okay. Like I'm not too bothered about that. It might be a little bit bad when my roots start to grow out again and I get like a weird band, but I can always fix it. I don't think it's light enough. So I'm probably gonna leave it for another five minutes. I think like the roots probably are, like it, it might just be deceptive because it's like wet. it looks really, really dark. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, it's ginger! So I actually ended up leaving it on for an extra 10 minutes. Um, it's brown. <laughs> it's literally brown. How is this the same? I mean, I guess it's it's probably like lighter when it's dry, but it is brown. My roots look really ginger, but they did before I dyed them. So, oh. this is kind of infuriating. I did do the conditioner. I also, I'm gonna put some leave-in conditioner and some argonol in my hair. Um, not that it really needs it, like it doesn't feel damaged, it didn't beforehand, so it probably won't be, but I did leave it on for an extra 10 minutes, so it's more of a preventative little thing. Um, but anyway, I am a 
soggy mess. So <laughs> I'm gonna go get myself dry because I feel very weird for a camera in a towel. <laughs> Oh, okay, I actually managed to dry my hair without looking in the mirror, so I've seen, from what I've seen of the ends, it is not, not the colour I was going for. It's brown. Are you kidding? It is brown. Okay, actually, where the light is hitting it, so like from here till about here, it looks, it looks pretty much like what my natural colour is which is not what I was aiming for. My roots are lighter because they were ginger anyway, and then I've just put lighter ginger on them so they've gone lighter. I don't know if you can see that. That is crazy. Let me put this back. Can you see this? Okay. Um. Um. This ain't it. But, you know, it is lighter. It is lighter. It feels more me. It definitely feels more like my natural coloring um, than what was previously on my head. It is still a little damp, but it looks really, really ginger when the sun hits it. I don't know if it's picking up on camera. I might have to go outside and show you. Um, this is crazy. Okay, this was not what I was aiming for at all. Um, this is in no way, shape, or form the same colour, <sighs> but it looks like my natural colouring. So actually, I bet if I FaceTime my mom, she'd be like, hey, did you finally get all the dye out of your hair? And I'd be like, no, I put more in. <laughs> okay, that's actually pretty cool. I was scared of it being like stupidly light because I have jet black eyebrows which are naturally jet black, don't ask. Okay, I managed to get my father's colouring, but he has black eyebrows and like really dark hair, but my granddad is bright orange. Yeah. Um, I actually kind of like it. I might, when I get the bleach, add a couple highlights. It's actually not damaged at all. Wow, although I did give my, myself a trim like a couple weeks ago, so I don't really have split ends to begin with, but oh my god, I don't know if you can see this, a little like root ginge, oh. Okay, I am super happy with this because it still looks brown, it doesn't look like I did anything, but if I go out in the sun, I keep forgetting how long my hair is getting. Mm. When did this happen? Okay, let's go outside and I'm gonna show you. Okay, moment of truth. It is pretty sunny, so. since I was about 11. Um, oh my god. <sighs> okay, this is, this is pretty cool. Um, I'm probably still gonna add some highlights, um, maybe lighten the ends a little, just because like, it's summer, I can do what I want. And then when winter comes, I can cut off what I bleached and start from scratch. But, um, I'm really loving this color. I know, you're probably all sat there being like, I don't see it change. Is it different? I can tell. Oh my god, look at it! <gasps> this is insane. Well, Jerry, you officially have a ginger girlfriend, so enjoy that. Um, <laughs> okay, there's no one in the allotment, we're good. <laughs> okay, um... I wish it was sunnier, so I feel like it might be brighter in the sunshine than it is right now. 
Okay, let's go ask Jordan. Hello. 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 Do you like my hair? <laughs>